All right, everyone, that's the end of my part of the presentation. Are you ready to go on a campus tour? Perfect. Well, you're gonna go out there and see some of the amazing things that our campus has to offer, like Fountain View Dining Hall, like the Kaplan Center for Wellness. You're even gonna see inside a residence hall so you can see what life is gonna be like your freshman year. And to do all that, we have two amazing Spartan guides. They're gonna show you around campus. Come follow me. Hey y'all, my name is Corinne. I am a senior consumer apparel and retail studies major and English minor here at UNCG. I am from Apex, North Carolina, and in addition to being a Spartan guide, I'm also a part of the Spartan orientation staff, the Lloyd International Honors College and Homecoming. I'm so excited to take y'all around campus today. So let's get started. We're gonna head over to the future Spartan shuttle and meet up with my teammate there. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Albert. I am a junior business administration major and I'm from Gastonia, North Carolina. So outside of Spartan Guides, I'm a resident advisor. I'm also the current Mr. Neo Black Society and I'm also on this year's homecoming court. So you guys can get on the bus and follow me. All right, so here we are. We are in front of the Elliott University Center, otherwise known as the EUC. This is like our central hub of campus and there's always different student activities and student life kind of going on around and inside the building. So the top level is home to a lot of our student resources. The first one you can find up there is the Dean of Students office. A lot of times people think this is like the principal's office and you go here when you're in trouble, but it's actually just the opposite. You go here to avoid getting in trouble. They're like a student advocacy center. So if you need to miss class or extend a period of time for any reason, Reason, or you're having a little bit of issues with class, contact DOS and they'll be able to help you out. Also, if you're interested in volunteering or community service, the Office of Leadership and Civic Engagement is also located upstairs to do anything with those activities that you're interested in, as well as campus activities or programs, otherwise known as CAP. This is the place to get involved. We have over 300 student organizations ranging from arts to athletics to anything in between. We even have a napping club. So even if there isn't a club of your interest, all you need is you, three friends, and a faculty advisor, and you can create your own organization as easily as you want to. Hi, so welcome to the EUC. So right here to my left, we have the EUC food court. In there we have Nomas, Salsaritas, Burger 336, and also Create. So with those different places, you can create your own salad, sub, you can create your own burger, and many other different eating options. So here to my right, we have the UNCG bookstore. So in there we have um, different things, it's two stories. So on the first story, you get a lot of different, you know, UNCG merch, such as lanyards, keychains, book bags, and all of those types of things. It's two stories, like I said, so once you go upstairs, those are the actual books. So we know the books are a bit expensive, so we do price match. So if you go on Amazon and you find a book through a verified seller, you can always get that price dropped down for you. So also we have a thing called bookstore books. Bookstore books is a um, way where you can basically, you know, get your books earlier if you don't have all your money together. So with that, you can always get that price dropped down and always have it um, waiting for you with the bookstore books. Essentially, it's like a loan for you. So now you can follow me and we'll see the rest of the EUC. To my left, we have a Spartan Market. Um, essentially, I like to look at it as a gas station without gas. So a lot of students in between classes, they'll go there to you know, buy different snacks and stuff like that. So to my right, we have a Barnes & Noble's Cafe. Um, it's connected to our UNCG bookstore, so a lot of students will go there between classes to you know, get a coffee or something like that to keep going through their day. So you can follow me, and then we'll go see some more. So welcome to the ground floor of the EUC. So down here, right behind me, we have the Career and Professional Development Center. So this is one of my favorite places that we have here in the Elliott University Center, um, just simply because they help so much. So coming into college, I thought I had a great resume, but I took it there, you know, just to, you know, spice it up a little bit. They can help you with resume work, you can get professional headshots, you can do mock interviews, and so many more other things, and it's all for free. You can't really see it, but back down that way, we do have the Office of Intercultural Engagements. So UNCG is one of the most diverse campuses in the UNC system. So with that, we take a lot of pride. We do a lot of different events um, such as the Tunnel of Oppression, the House of Privilege. We also do things such as um, the Civil Rights Pilgrimage and you know different things like that. So um, they welcome everybody and it's just a great fun inviting place. So if you follow me we'll go out and see corn at Minerva. All right, here we are. We are now in front of Minerva. Minerva is a really important part of our university's history because way back when we were still a women's college, she was kind of the symbol of our university. So even though we are now the Spartans, more social and more athletically, Minerva is still kind of here as an academic mascot of the university. She'll be on your diploma, she's on our university seal, and we have a really popular tradition that if you have an exam coming up, you can take a bite of an apple and you leave it for Minerva and she will bless you with good grades in your exams. 
The only caveat to that is you do have to, of course, study. It's not very wise to not study for your exams, but if you study a little bit and leave a little bit for Minerva, she'll definitely help you out. Also, right over here to my left is going to be the Faust building. That was the original UNCG, so where everything used to happen. And now, even though that is not home to housing or residential life, that is home to a lot of popular resources here on campus. The first one is going to be IPC, or International Program Center. So if you're interested in studying abroad, you can go to over 200 universities in every continent except Antarctica. I definitely recommend studying abroad. It's an amazing experience to know, get to know other cultures and other people. Um, partnered with that is also our University Honors College. We have an international honors college that kind of makes studying abroad a little bit more accessible. There's lots of grants and lots of opportunities. And the Honors College, of course, includes a little bit of a um, invigorated study program for you as well if you're really into academics. And we do, of course, have our residential colleges. We have three residential colleges, Ashby, Strong, and Grogan. And what that entails is you are living and taking classes with people who have similar interests to you. They're two-year programs, so for your first year and your second year, you're being a part of a community who are all taking part in the same kind of activities and learning all of them in the same classes. So if y'all want to follow me, we're going to head right over and find Albert. So you're probably wondering who this big guy is right over here. So this guy right here, this is Charles Duncan McEver. So he founded the university back in 1891. So fun fact, this is actually a replica statue. The original is back in Raleigh, North Carolina in front of the Capitol building. And also, he's the only non-political or military figure to have a statue out there. So right behind it, we do have the Jackson Library. So that is um, our main library that we have here on campus. So in there, um, you have the university archives. You also have um, different things that you can rent out, such as calculators, iPads. Um, they also have different things such as um, portable chargers and almost anything that you may need to be successful as a student. So right behind it, the big white building, that's actually what we call the stacks. That's where we house over 1.3 million book set. So in there, we also have a lot of different, you know, student study spaces and stuff like that. So essentially, the higher you go, the quieter you get, and it's nine floors. So essentially, you won't find me on the ninth floor because I talk too much, and if you, you know, talk up there, then they'll look at you crazy. So if you really like to be quiet while you're studying, that's the place where you want to go. So now you can follow me, and we'll go to the clock tower. All right, here we are in front of our clock and our rock. So with our clock, we like to say, if you walk under the clock, you won't graduate on time. So you'll see a lot of students avoid walking right underneath. And a popular thing to do is once you do graduate on time and you're in your cap and gown and you have your diploma, is you go and you take a picture underneath the clock tower to show you finally beat the curse. Right here behind me, we have the rock, which stands for really awesome way to communicate, spelled R-A-W-K, and it is essentially like our campus message board. We say anything that we really want on there, whether it's shouting out a happy birthday to your roommate, promoting an event that you want a lot of people to come to, and I even saw a marriage proposal between two alumni last year, which was really cute. The only rule kind of associated with the rock is you do have to wait 24 hours between when it was last painted for you to paint it again. So there's two smaller rocks, and that has a date and a time. As long as it's 24 hours and one second, you can repaint it. Corin, I'm hungry. Can we please go eat? Okay, let's just go to the calf. <laughs> So welcome to Moran Commons. So right behind me is a hot spot for students. So on many nice days, students will come out. Um, they'll have you know different events and stuff like that out here. Um, so they'll come out on a nice day and you know study, you know chill out with their friends. Or like I said, our activities and campus events will have a big event. One time they had a winter wonderland event going on out here. We've had day parties. Sometimes they'll bring a DJ out. It really just depends on what day it is. Um, so that's pretty much it for Moran Commons. So I'm hungry. I know Corin's waiting on me inside. So let's go. Here we are in Fountain View Dining Hall, otherwise known as the CAF. This is the most popular dining area here on campus. We have a total of 15 different stations ranging from salads to southern cooking to my favorite, which is the bakery, which has desserts 24 seven. So make sure you stop by. There's always something different to eat. Probably the most popular day is Wednesday. That is fried chicken Wednesdays. Every Wednesday for lunch, you can eat fried chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes and collard greens. So make sure you stop by on Wednesdays. I need to find Albert though, so let's go find him. What are you doing, Albert? Oh, corn. I think I've eaten too much. Oh, no. I need to go take a nap. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to head over to the quad.
But wait, before we go inside, I want to talk to y'all about what's behind me real quick. So right now we're standing in the historic quiet area. So over here you can find different events going on throughout the year, such as movie nights. We also do um, different big carnivals and stuff like that throughout the year, just to make sure the students are having fun as well as learning. So you always want to make sure that you have your Spartan card that you can get in the buildings. So you can follow me and we'll go inside. Oh, hey, Corn. Hey, what's up? Cool. Awesome. So we are now inside of Gray. So this is one of the residence halls here in the historic quad. Um, so right now you are seeing one of the common areas. Every residence hall is going to have multiple common areas to either study or hang out with friends or your resident advisor will put on different programs in here. A resident advisor is technically like a peer leader for you here in the building and they're going to help you with anything that you might need help with. Albert here is actually a resident advisor. Um, so I don't know, do you have anything to add about that? Um, not necessarily. We're really just there to um, pretty much be a big sister, big brother type of role, just to make sure that you know students are transitioning, you know, well, and that you know things are going pretty smooth and all. So. Yeah, and RAs report to what's called a CRL or Coordinator of Residence Life. They all have their master's degrees to work in higher education, so they are an excellent resource for you. So if you have a question about something and you don't necessarily want to go to a another student about it, your CRL is an awesome resource. Like I said, they work and live right here in the building, so they're always accessible, accessible to you. And they report to the overall housing department, so they're always working to make housing bigger and better for students every year. So, if you want to come with us, we're going to go show you an actual residence hall room. Cool, come with us. All right. Well, welcome to Gray 325. We're obviously here in the quad so that you are seeing what a single room looks like, but we have lots of different housing styles that you can pick from. You can see a 360 degree view of every housing style that we have on our housing website, which is hrl.uncg.edu. Every room, however, is going to be individually climate controlled, which is something that's super nice. So as long as you and your roommate, if you have one, agree, you can have it however hot or cold that you want. And every housing style here on campus is going to provide free laundry. So you don't need to worry about getting quarters or getting anything sent to your building. What are you doing, Albert? Whew, that was a good crack nap. Um, let's go to Kaplan. I need to work this off. Okay. So. <laughs> Something really awesome about UNCG is that we have our police station located right here on campus. UNCG PD is actually a precinct of the City of Greensboro Police Department. So we have 100% well-trained officers with their own squadron, their own canine unit, and our own control room. We also have what's called blue light poles scattered all around campus that give you a direct contact to the police station no matter where you are in two minutes or less, which is something that's really awesome. The police station also provides safety training courses and self-defense classes if you're interested, as well as the Live Safe app, which has a variety of features, but probably the most popular is Walk Safe. So what that entails is if you are friends on the app, you can track your friends and make sure that they're staying safe no matter where they're at. So if I'm at the library late at night finishing a paper and I feel pretty safe on campus, but I want to have a little extra precaution, I can text my friend back in my apartment and say, hey, watch me and walk safe and she can watch my path all the way back from the library to my car and all the way back to my apartment, making sure that I feel nice and safe and secure no matter what on campus. Right now, I'm standing in front of Spartan Village Phase 2. It's one of our upperclassmen style housing options as well. So the cool thing about Spartan Village Phase 2 is that we have a lot of different good retail up under. So we also have a hair and nail salon, a bank, an art loft, um, and we also have a full service grocery store. So according to those, we also have um, some different things as well where you can also go eat. You can go to um, Taco Bell, Pita Delight, the Glenwood Diner. Those are just some other options as well. So now we can go over to our Kaplan Center and you can see where we get our you know, workout on. So follow me. Cool, so welcome to the Leonard J. Kaplan Center for Wellness. So this is our new wellness center, um, and it cost us $92 million to make. Um, and we don't call it, you know, just a gym, just because we do so much more than that. Yeah, and we opened our Kaplan Center in August of 2016, so it's been here just as long as I have. It has completely state-of-the-art equipment and machinery, and ranges from anything you could possibly want to work out and to be physically and mentally well. So let's go head in and see what it's all about. All right, so our Kaplan Center is a 200,000 square foot facility. It has a total of three stories, so you can come work out on your own on one of our ellipticals or treadmills. Fun fact about those is you can attach your Netflix account, but if you stop running or stop moving, it'll stop playing your show, so make sure you're committed to that workout. We also have classes offered from 
6 a.m. all the way until 9 p.m., ranging from yoga to bar to core to even some body pump classes. We do have a full natatorium with an Olympic sized lap pool and a warmer, smaller therapy pool. The nice thing about that is we do also host events in addition to individual workouts. We have what's called Dive In Movies, partnered with our campus activities and programs office, where everybody gets an inner tube and they sit in the water and they watch a water related movie all together. So it's super fun. The last thing I do want to mention is our rock wall. We do have a 53-foot rock wall here at the Kaplan Center that you can climb and is free for students to use. Everything in the Kaplan Center is free for students, faculty, and staff, with the exception of A, hiring a personal trainer, and B, if you want to go on an outdoor adventures trip. We do sponsor trips through Outdoor Adventures, meaning you can go outdoor rock climbing, kayaking, paddle boating, and all that fun stuff. That is an additional fee, but all fees include lunch, which is something that's super fun. Um, and you can also go to Piney Lake, which is a off-site recreation center through UNCG that's open during the warmer months of the year. Then you can go paddle boarding or even just tanning, sand volleyball, and fun stuff like that for free during the warmer months of the year. All right, so we're about to head back on the bus, but we have to go find Albert and see where he is. 638, 639, Albert, 64. what are you doing? We have to get back on the Spartan shuttle. I was just trying to get my pumps in. Well, we have I, to go. I, I'll finish the rest later. Come on. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Visitor Center. I hope y'all had a great time on tour. I know I did. UNCG has really become my home over these past four years, so I hope you all make it your home someday too. Hey, so we really enjoyed having you on tour for campus today. So um, our supervisor Daryl's in his office right now just waiting to take care of you, so you can just come on. Hey, welcome back. Come on in. Let's talk about how you become a Spartan. 